reason why I'm showing y'all this is the start of um, my 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 name, Basic. talking shit this is where the bus fights happen <laughs> this is my house coming up to the left that I grew up in from like here to like middle school uh, oh wow they still got the basketball goal on the side we had the same thing this house right here 294 is where it all happened for me um, this is where I really started rapping and freestyling this was a very vital point in my life. Um, dealing, I mean, this might be TMI, but dealing with bad bugs, <laughs> uh, just not enough food. Um, I only had like a couple pair of clothes for school. Um, just really trying to make it through life, man, like for real. So I would find that in Flada D. It took me a while because I was first I was playing it like that's how I was first playing it. And then I would probably get a melody like Depending on my headspace, um, if I want to write a sad song, I'll keep that same melody or keep the same chord progression for another song in different chords form. But I knew for these chords, I wanted it to be a little bit happy because these are a little bit of jazz and R&B chords and uh, Neil Soul. So I was like, what if I sped it up? Let's go.
just have a perspective of like how long I've been doing this, uh, street performing wise. Maybe for about eight, seven years, I've been on uh, street performing. Um, but I really just started branching out and uh, promoting myself. I'm really just trying to get out there to the people so they can hear that I got more than just, you know, rap myself. I had my last mental breakdown, um, and I was about to kill myself um, a couple months ago, actually. Nobody saw that coming, at least not my family or my friends. I had a lot going on in my head that I felt like I couldn't deal with anymore. Going to the hospital and seeing other people in the worst situation, it was very uh, minimal to what other people were really dealing with. Now I'm just on a better path, trying to write better, and just trying to learn more, and just discover myself. And um, I feel like 24-year-old me is the is the is the me everyone's gonna meet. So right now I'm about to go uh, see my inspirations and shit that drives me and shit that when I feel as if I can't do it. stuff that I think about in certain situations that I remember I was in that I can get through again and I can I can defeat this and I can conquer you know <sighs> so I didn't know I was gonna get emotional <laughs> Nine oh two Hillcrest nineteen ninety three cemetery. This is a this is really hard for me. It might not seem like it because I'm smiling. This is really hard for me. This is my first time coming here. I think about them all the time, and that's really my inspiration. Him and just the struggles I went through in my apartment days. This is nothing. Nothing more to it. Life is short, man. You know, it can be short. He impacted so much people in his short time here. My cousin did, my little cousin. He impacted so much people. And a part of me just, a part of me saw the change he was bringing and wanted to bring. And that that's what really pushes me to really try to be different now, you know? Because I don't, I don't eat meat anymore. I don't drink, I don't smoke. I don't do any of that shit. Yeah, these are some of the things, man. something more on the uh, spiritual like major think side and I saw basic and I saw the words so my mindset was already like society you know like all oh, like it's fucked up so I was just boom boom trying to X Y and Z this basic and then like a fucking train it just smacked me I just said be aware society is corrupt. I trusted myself. I do. I gave myself a chance to be better. And what did God do? Give me an opportunity. So now that brought me here.